It's a year since the Taliban started retaking control of Afghanistan, finally entering Kabul last August, when America, the UK and the rest of the West left. Since then, and despite assurances to the world, the Taliban have imposed strict controls on what women can do and how they must behave. Young girls have been banned from going to school, and all females must now wear veils. That includes female TV newsreaders, who were ordered to cover up two days ago. One of them is Farida Sial, who reads the news for the Afghan channel Tolo News. She's defied another strict Taliban order not to speak to foreign press to continue to condemn that edict. And she risks arrest tonight by simply talking to me about it. When we spoke a few hours ago, I started by asking her how she and her colleagues felt when the Taliban made that veil order. That day uh, actually was very bad day for us and uh, I was so sad about that order that the Taliban gave us around the world when we presenting on the screens, when we starting in front of the camera, uh, around all the people watching us. And in the 21st century, maybe Afghanistan will be the only country that uh, their female presenter, while they are presenting news or other social programs, they're wearing their mask, they're mm. covering their face while they're presenting. And this is a very bad news, and I, 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 I and I sure this uh, order not only shocking me, I think this will be this shocking uh, people around the, the world and especially our neighbors. So that was that day was a very bad day for us, and uh, on that day, all of my colleagues, um, um, female colleagues, they are crying. Did you and your fellow presenters try and fight this edict from the Taliban? Uh, I think uh, that was very difficult for us to accept that the, what the Taliban uh, tell us, but uh, we forcefully and we obligated to bring masks when we present things in, the, in front of the camera. And without that, we haven't any choice to do it, and we are obligated to bring. So uh, now Taliban are in the powers, and what they said, the people are, uh, the people should accept it. And we are, as a part of society, uh, the female presenters are, the, as a part of society, they should accept it. And what would happen if you refused? What would happen if you went on air and said, I'm not wearing this, and just went on the television, showing your full face? Uh, without mask, without covering my face, that the Taliban will come to our office and they tell my uh, head that this females or this guys should be yeah. uh, uh, high and should be fired for their jobs and be obligated to wearing. So we haven't any choice. We should be away. So you're talking to me now in Britain. You don't have to wear that veil at the moment because you're not on Afghanistan television. But there's a reason why you're wearing it now. Now, uh, where I'm asked, it's because of protests, that the civic protest, uh, and uh, because of our uh, male colleagues, that they show their solidarity with us, and they're wearing masks for uh, three days. So now, when we have an interview with the foreign media, uh, this is because of our choice. We want to show the world that we are obligated to wearing masks when we appearing on the screen. So the world watch us that the female presenters or the female uh, 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 workers who are work with the media, they are obligated to wearing masks. When the British and the Americans, the international community, left Kabul last summer, quite a few of them said the Taliban have changed, they're different now, they'll respect women's rights. This is proof that that's not true. From the two power of the Taliban in Afghanistan, they just put a uh, restriction on the women, they limit women from the past uh, nine months that they come, uh, they just put restriction on the women. I think uh, what the Western country says and the politicians of, uh, says it's not true and we are in Afghanistan, we watching the situations, we are here and we are observing, observing what's happened to us. And now when you see uh, that I'm wearing mask, it is the result of their restriction that women are removing day by day from the public life. 
Frida, final question. What do you want the international community to do to help? What can they do? Uh, we want the international community to put pressure on the Taliban and uh, they just talk with them. They should have a, uh, they should uh, send their representative to Afghanistan. They just signed the person for the Afghanistan, but that guys never come to Afghanistan, especially in our Middle East, especially Tom Swiss. These guys never come to Afghanistan that observe and evaluate the situations, especially for women. I want international community just, they came to Afghanistan, observing the situations, just talking about the de facto authority, that this is the not uh, way of solutions. If the Taliban uh, continue like now they do, uh, I'm sure that beside that I'm lost my job and I'm wearing masks, covering my face, uh, and the Taliban will be said to me that just sit in your home and you were, because you were women, you were not allowed to go out. So like the international community put pressure on the Russia, uh, because of Ukraine war, so let's they uh, put pressure on the Taliban because there is the violations of human rights, uh, women rights, and we are removing day by day from our public life, and they took our rights of human beings from us. Farida Sial, thank you so much for being brave enough to talk to me.